Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Closet Nerd. My name's Kristen, in case anyone's new, and today I'm going to be reviewing some workout shorts from Amazon. You guys highly requested this video for me. Now, I am someone who likes to work out. I usually go to the gym five to six days a week, and then on the days that I'm not going to the gym, I really like to move my body however I can. So whether that is you know, a hike or doing yoga in the beginning or the end of my day, I really like to move my body. Now, in case anyone's new here, I really don't know like what to call myself. I graduated with a degree in apparel design two years ago. Um, I don't really hold like a corporate job right now. I literally just make YouTube videos but I am an expert. I do know what I'm looking for and I really like to review these clothes and give you guys a thorough review so I'm not just gonna be like oh my gosh this is so cute although I really do say that a lot because a lot of these are cute and that's just my personality but I really like to look at the stitches the seams the quality of the overall garment how it's going to perform how is it going to wear and then what's the result after you wash it since I know on Amazon not all of the clothes sadly are that reliable sometimes you wash it a couple times and it shrinks four sizes or it just basically disintegrates right in front of your eyes so I make sure to do a thorough review so you guys don't waste your money now on top of me looking at the quality of each of these shorts I'm also gonna be grading them on how flattering they are on me I am definitely a slim thick type of girl I've got a very pear-shaped body and it is really hard to find flattering shorts for my body shape, in my opinion. You know, sometimes the legs are too long, too short. Uh, sometimes I'm not even able to get them up past my hips, especially with shorts that have built-in underwear. So I'm gonna be very thorough with this review. I'm gonna let you know what I think about the overall quality and also how I think it's flattering on my shape. So if you are someone who has the same shape as me, I hope this video helps you find some shorts that you feel beautiful and confident in. So let's just go ahead and get into the review. So for our first pair, this blue pair of spandex shorts, I loved the color. I fell in love with the color, and then when it came in the mail, I fell in love with how it feels. It really feels like um, just a regular yoga pants, um, but this is very wickable. It's gonna keep you dry. It's gonna keep you cool when you work out. Um, I loved the color. I also loved that they had a little pocket in the back of the waistband. I love that you can put your chapstick, um, your house keys, something like that. I also really like how flattering this cut is on me. I thought it was really cute. It fits me really well in the hips and through the waist, which is really hard for me to get both of those um, working at the same time. So I really liked how this fit me. We have a good stitches per inch. The seams look really nice and crisp. We don't have any um, loose threads, so we really don't have to worry about this unraveling. It didn't shrink in the wash, which is a really good sign. The quality of the fabric has kept up definitely with um, the couple times that I've worn it and the couple washes that I've put it through. Um, I do have a couple concerns. The first one is that while this fits me in the waist and the hips, I noticed that when I started to move, it would start to creep up. And by you know the fifth step, my butt, my literally my butt is so exposed so sadly this is not a pair of shorts that I can wear to the gym or like really out in public the only time I'm gonna wear this is when I'm doing yoga in the house you know it's just by myself this is a really good one for yoga you can really move in it you're able to have a full range of motion and it's not constricting at all so if you're looking for a really good pair of shorts to move around in maybe in private or maybe you know if you feel confident you can wear this out in public too uh, but but definitely do be weary if you're a little bit on the bigger side in the hips it does like to creep up and this wasn't something that I can wear in public now so that was a little sad but for the price of 1968 this is definitely worth it the quality of not only just the seams but the fabric that they used for this was really surprising to me and the color has not diminished at all through um, the couple washes that I've done with it so this was definitely worth it for me if you feel confident with having a little bit of like hot pants and hot shorts the next pair of shorts had so many good reviews on it. So I had to take a peek at them, see if they were worth it. And they are these spandex shorts that have the ruching in the back. You know, they've been in style for, I, I don't know if I should say style, but they've been trending for a couple years now. And I decided finally I was gonna try it. And 
I was just kind of like a little bit underwhelmed when I got them. I thought that they were going to make my butt look like phenomenal and like through the roof. And I, I like honestly didn't see a difference between wearing these and just wearing like my yoga pants. So I don't know if the ruching really does that much for you. This was $15.99 and you can definitely tell that this is a $15 pair of shorts. They definitely cut some corners with the construction of this and I'm not going to lie, it really wasn't that comfortable to wear. They're missing the, um, I forget what it's called, I think it's called like a guzzle, a gozzle. I can't remember what it's called, let me look it up really fast. Gusset. Gusset. A piece of material sewn into a garment to strengthen or enlarge part of it, such as the collar of a shirt or the crotch of an undergarment. So if you see Lululemon leggings, um, they have them. That's what made them really famous is because they weren't having four seams connect like um, this one. And even like this pair of shorts has it as well. This is a clear sign that something is a little bit um, lower of quality than something with a gusset. So uh, right here, you can see it a little bit better with these pants, um, but you can see that we have this seam coming in here and it's connecting with this crossing seam. So this can be a little bit um, uncomfortable on some pants. You know, I really didn't feel it with this, but with this pair of shorts, I definitely felt it. It was like super tight and really uncomfortable. It was creeping into places where the seam did not belong. So that's another thing to look out for. Make sure that if you're getting leggings, they at least have a gusset. Sometimes it's like this. Sometimes it'll be just like an extra panel that's going from like knee up to the crotch to the knee. But that's another way to just look at things really fast and be like, oh yeah, that's high quality. That's low quality quality. So that was one thing that I noticed with it and I noticed it immediately when I put it on. The next thing that I noticed is that they cut some corners with the waistband. Our waistband is like three and a half inches thick and you can feel that this only has like a two inch elastic band in it which um, just really cheapens it, not gonna lie. I didn't feel it flipping down at all, but I did notice that it was a lot tighter at my waist than, you know, through my waist and through my hips. It wasn't like a constant compression feel like you get with a lot of yoga pants. So this one, it's functional, I guess. It passes the squat test. I, I do kind of like have to pick at it and adjust it afterwards. Um, the legs also kind of roll up. They don't have any stickiness or any like clinginess to the legs. So when I'm done with my squats, I really have to readjust myself. Looking over the quality of the stitches and seams, again, I can tell that this is like a $15 piece of garment. It's like eh material. I can tell that they used um, a lower quality thread. Our stitches and seams, like while they're correct in their placement, they just look shitty. Not gonna lie, they look crappy, they look messily done, but I don't see this lasting longer than a couple months. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, I think a couple washes and then it's gonna be done. So this one, in my opinion, is not gonna be worth it. Even though it has a bunch of positive reviews, a lot of time people really don't know what they're talking about when they do a review. And most of the time, like I said, they're just like, oh my gosh, it's cute, it works. Like, they just pull it out of the bag and then they do the review and it's not like, oh my gosh, you didn't like walk around in it, you didn't test it out. Like, so cute, but not worth it. Moving on to our next one, which is my favorite pair of this haul. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with them. I first ordered a size medium, ended up being way too big for me, so I ordered an extra small and a small so I could kind of gauge. And small is my size, so I'll leave my measurements and the links down below so you guys can figure out what size would work best for you. But these are the Blooming Jelly Store shorts, and they are perfect. They are so perfect. I talked about them on my Instagram story the other day. If you saw that, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead, it's down there. <laughs> Just go ahead and follow me. Um, but I talked about them because I couldn't wait for this video. I was like, I can't wait. I gotta show you guys, they're perfect. So, first of all, they're $24.99. That is a perfect price point. That's 25 to 30, that's a really good price range for shorts. You'll be able to, you know, expect them to last maybe a year or two, hopefully. But honestly, anything under like 
20 18 dollars i would be a little bit sketched out and be like hmm, is this really gonna last so the price point starting off is perfect here and i have nothing bad to say about it so i'm just going to talk about the highlights we have a really thick waistband and it's super stretchy i was able to get it over my hips and it's still cinched in my waist that like hardly ever happens with shorts so i was really happy that it fit me in all of the places these shorts do have built-in underwear and a lot of time they're too tight they dig into my skin they probably leave like a a, a bump you know so i have like two butt cheeks i hate it i hate it i hate it and I'm so happy to say that these shorts do not have that. This built-in underwear, I saw it in the review too. People said that the built-in underwear was different and I was like, oh, I don't know that it is, but like, let's give it a try. It is, it's so much thicker, it's more breathable. It's just, it's really, really comfy. So I really like the built-in underwear. Then as far as like the actual construction goes, we have the legs splitting off on the side. That's really flattering for people who are a little bit thicker on bottom. It also allows us to squat. So this passed the squat test. It doesn't constrict my thighs. I'm able to have a full range of motion with this. And I actually, um, this is very breathable and wickable. I had to like jump into the river to save my dog the other weekend because he like got out to the middle where he couldn't touch and he couldn't swim. So I like had to wade in there with these and and on the way back, they dried completely and I wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't shave or anything like that. A couple other things about the shorts. They come in a lot of different colors online, so definitely check those out. Um, we have a zipper on the side and it's a pretty big zipper actually. You can probably fit like um, a phone in here. I just think this cut is so flattering and the way it cinches in the waist while also accentuating my hips. I love how this makes me feel, how it makes me look. These are definitely worth it. I've washed these a couple times now and the quality has not decreased. We have a very wickable and breathable material on the outside, um, which doesn't shrink, which is nice. It's not gonna shrink in the wash. Everything looks pretty good here. I'm not seeing any stitches or loose threads that are just sticking out to me like a sore thumb. So overall, these shorts are wonderful. I love them. I'm definitely gonna buy them in a couple other colors. And usually I don't wear shorts to the gym. Usually I'm like a leggings and a sports bra type of girl. So I really like that I found some shorts that I feel comfortable and confident in. So definitely check these out. These are like my favorite ones of this haul so remember when I said like shorts with built-in underwear sometimes just don't work out for me this pair is a great example of that these this pair sucks it sucks so bad they had 205 good reviews so I thought that they were gonna be great a lot of people were raving about how breathable they are and how much they like them and how they're the one shorts that they can wear and how they've bought in a lot of them. So I was like, okay, awesome. This is almost a guaranteed five stars. Nope, this is like one star. So let's go ahead and dive into it. First of all, the underwear. The underwear, the underwear, the underwear. It doesn't fit my hips. I got a size medium, first of all. And usually I expect that to be, you know, like good in the hips and maybe a little big in the waist. This was super tight in the hips and super big in the waist. There's like no way that I would salvage these shorts. It's just, it fits me terrible. It's also, I don't find it flattering on my shape. The legs are really long. And when I went to squat, they really constricted my thighs. I wasn't, you know, I was like trying to pull them up more towards my hips so I could get a deeper squat, but it just, it really wasn't working. They're super uncomfortable and they feel really weird around my hips. And honestly, I know that if I got a small or an extra small so this fit around my waist, it would definitely not fit around my hips. So these are a no-go for any slim thick babies out there. I'm so sorry, these shorts are not gonna cut it for you. I would definitely pick these shorts over these shorts any day of the week. The next pair of shorts is the highest quality from this haul, definitely, and I have not found quality that surpasses this brand while I've been doing these videos, and that is CRZ Yoga. They just do a really phenomenal job of making athletic wear really well, and the stitches and the seams always look great, and the designs are beautiful and very flattering. So we have this olive pair of shorts, and usually I'm not someone who likes low-waisted shorts. Usually I like them 
you know, near my belly button above my hips, but I really kind of like these shorts. So starting off with the fabric of these shorts, I really like the waistband fabric. It's different from the main body of the shorts. It's just a little bit more grippy. It's definitely going to hold still. It won't move around while you walk in them or work out in them. So I really appreciate that. It also comes with ties so you can tie them into place if you need to do that, but I really didn't feel the need to do it. The back is scrunched, so it can scrunch over your hips and make it up to your waist if you want it to. We have two pockets on here. We have one pocket on the outside and then another one on the inside, actually. So you could put um, a key or you know, chapstick. Those are always the two things that I take with me. I really like the design style of these shorts. I really like how it comes up on the side of the leg. And then we also have a reflective panel down the side of it before it goes into this mesh part. So we have lots of style lines in the shorts. These were priced at $28, and I have to say, for $28 for around 30 bucks, this is really good quality that you get. You can tell that they've taken their time to construct these shorts, and honestly, they've gone above and beyond and done extra branding, and every time I review this company, I swear they do more branding every time, and that just speaks to not only the craftsmanship, but the fact that they wanna represent good quality and not only you know do these fast fashion things that a lot of people are finding on Amazon, so I'm really proud of CRZ Yoga. They have their emblem on the side right here. And then they also have it on the zipper right here. You can see the little... This also passed the squat test. I really liked working out in them. They are a little bit lower, so I usually go to the gym in like a sports bra and then my bottoms. But with these, I do feel like I have to wear a shirt just because a lot of my stomach is exposed. So I do just kind of have to switch that around for proportions and everything like that. Overall, I really enjoyed this pair of shorts. The built-in underwear is also really breathable and not constricting at all. It's not tight around my butt, so thank heaven. Heavens. But I would definitely recommend these shorts, especially for running. They feel like really good running shorts. You're going to be able to have a wide range of motion in case your gait is like really long. And I didn't feel like they were moving around while I was working out. So these would be really good running shorts. Then our last pair of shorts is actually these uh, sweat pant shorts. I've kind of really been into them recently. I really like how they look folded actually they really remind me of boxer shorts which is definitely coming into style I talked about it in my previous video if you haven't checked it out it'll be linked somewhere up here but these were priced at $18.99 as well that's a really common um, pricing in this video and I would say quality speaks for that it's, it's nothing over the top we have a really nice thick waistband. They didn't skip out on the waistband and I like how cinched it does go into my waist. It goes a lot more um, than I was expecting with this. The color of this is really beautiful. I'm going to make sure that I wash this in cold with like colors so I don't um, lose this color at all because it's so beautiful. This is definitely more of a casual type of shorts. I really just like to wear them on the days where I'm feeling a little bit more bloated or a little bit groggy. I just think this like sets the mood for my gym. These are squat proof. I didn't feel any constriction while working out of them, but honestly, I'm probably going to be wearing these on like arm day and not so much leg and glute day because I want compression, I want support when I do those. Looking at the stitches and seams, I do see some sloppy craftsmanship, like a couple of the threads are just coming off here. So um, will this last me more than two years? I don't know, but then again, like I said, these are gonna be lounging shorts for me. I probably won't be doing extreme workouts in them, so they won't have the wear and tear like something like this would. So keeping that in mind, these were only $18, $19? Yeah, only $18, $19, definitely worth it. And these shorts also come with a lot of different colors. So if teal is not your thing, definitely check it out. They have some nude, gray, lilac, lilac, uh-huh 
and some other colors on there. So definitely check out everything down below. I have all of the shorts linked down there for easy shopping. Of course, you guys can always reach out to me on Instagram if you guys have any questions. My profile will be linked down there so you can go ahead and check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments whether you found this useful or not. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscription button down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.